Hi guys, and welcome back to Golden Sun with Miyoxfu. Let's play Golden Sun with Miyoxfu. Excuse the silence, but this is fantastic music. Like, this is absolute fantastic music. And we didn't really get the chance to appreciate it last episode, so I just wanted to shush for a bit and let you guys hear a little. Oh, I can't. I can't believe how good this is. Because I've never actually, like, sat back and just appreciated it. But anyway. Oh my god, that's so good. Anyway, enough of that. Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu. Sorry, <laughs> I'm falling in love with the music again. And last time, we saw that Mercury Lighthouse has unfortunately been lit. And we fought... We missed Minardi and Felix and Jenna and Kraden, but we did fight Satoros, found out that Mercury the Lighthouse actually weakened him and allowed us to beat him. Uh, we barely got out with our mechs alive, though, because I, I was stupid and forgot to heal, I think. Um, no, I was stupid and forgot to set my gin, that's right. Uh, but anyway... Everybody's doing just fine. We had to use a Water of Life, I believe. Unfortunate, but, you know, things are gonna happen like that. Uh, I'm not gonna do item stuff right now. <laughs> uh, but then Alex showed up, and he's like, Oh, <laughs> I was waiting from the shadows because I was sure Satoros would live. And they took off, and now we, get, we gotta chase him again. And hopefully we'll stop them at the next lighthouse. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this lighthouse indeed. It is a quick lighthouse. I mean, it wasn't quick when I was young, but that was because I wasn't good at this game. But, I mean, what, what, we did that in like three episodes? I expected that to take like four or five. What do you have to say? The legends said that if the lighthouse was lit, the fountain would fill again. It looks like the legends were true! Our fountain is back! They say these waters can heal all that lives. This is the one thing that was fortunate about lighting the lighthouse, though. I drink the healing water, and now I feel great! I should get a bottle so I can take some home with me. I feel like I could fight a bear. I might actually go home and be attacked by a bear on the way home. We don't have to fear any epidemic as long as we have our fountain. I mean, if it filled up Mercury Lighthouse, or it filled up Mercury Fountain, the fountain is flowing with water. Oh, that's right, we have the empty bottle. And now we have Hermes Water, which we can bring back to Tret and try and heal him if we're not too late. But, I mean, if this is what lighting the lighthouse brought back, can, can lighting the lighthouses all be all that bad? Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna run, run. You guys will have to deal with that. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it in the next bit. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just switch for five seconds. Uh, before we go anywhere, I do want to heal at the end, though. Thank goodness the town is back to normal again. Oh, uh -huh. oh, I'll say. Now we can actually get weapons. Yes, I'll stay. I'll stay indeed. But no, I mean, this brings into question everything that Kraden has told us. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Emil will be fine. Disease is nothing to the water of Hermes. Well, if you say so. I'm not sure I believe you, but... One, two, three, four! I declare a thumb war. I was training hard so I could withstand any disease. And now the lighthouse fountain is back? Yep. What did I train so hard for all this time? Oh, my muscles are useless. Oh, they were, old man. That's unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by you. <laughs> it's a little unusual. It's not the regular guys. <gasps> Blessed Ankh. Um, 
So, yeah, you can see that we can finally buy rare weapons. Well, we've already been buying rare weapons, but... Whatever, we're gonna buy Blessed Ankh, which allows us to seal the abilities of enemies. We're actually not selling Witch's Wand, as you can see. I'm gonna give that to Ivan, because much better than the Bandit Sword. So, stay a while and listen. Come and look at our weapons. And I want to sell the Bandit Sword. Yes, indeed. Sor. Okie dokie. Anything else? Not yet. Not yet. And I think we want to give... Yes, we want to give a broad sword. I think we want to give a broad sword. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We can give a heavy mace to... To Mia, by the way. She can't equip maces, but it's not gonna be much... It's not gonna be much better than what she has right now. Later, um, we'll see, but <laughs> for now she's going to be just using wands. Uh, and let's see, let's stock up on armor! Oh, you still don't have rare armor, darn it. Adept's clothes? Man, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure we want to, yeah, we want to just give everybody adept's clothes, because it's going to be the best thing we get until we get to... Pretty much the best thing we get for a while, I believe. Unless I'm wrong. Oh shoot, fur coat. Do I want to sell that? No, actually, I want to keep the fur hat, the fur coat, and I'm gonna. Oops, I didn't mean to give that to him. Um, I'm actually gonna give the fur coat to someone else. Yeah, we won't. We don't worry about other armor right now. I want to get going, but um. I want to give the fur coat to Garrett, because it resists water, as you can see. And I'm going to give the Adept's clothes to Mia. And I forgot that... one more cell. Sorry, guys. Just give me one second. There we go. We're all set. And... Give this to... I've been fl free up some inventory space, that's all. Oh shoot, that's right. Again, I'll go into the menu and I'll mess around with these freaking items. Sorry about that. I don't want to spend a lot of time in the item menu, that's all. Um, before we go, because we're done in email for now, for quite a while, I just want to revisit this shrine. Because, you know, this was where Mia was working and all. This is her shrine. Mia. We were worried that you wouldn't come back. I'm so sorry, you two. Mia, we have a problem. The Mercury Lighthouse, it's been lit. Mia, you already knew? And you didn't tell us? Well, she was kind of in a hurry. What's the matter? You look strange today, Mia. I... How should I tell you? You have something to say. What? What is it? Well, I... Uh... Come on, Mia. It's not that hard. I I'll be joining Isaac on his quest. <gasps> what? Leaving us here alone? It's very hard for me to leave you, but it's the lighthouse. Y you said the world would be in danger if the lighthouse was lit, right? Is that why you're leaving to protect the world? I just don't want to do her voice anymore. Yes, that's right. Then there's nothing we can do. We won't try and stop you then. After all, you are trying to protect the Mercury Clan. And you two are the all that's left. <laughs> As members of the Mercury Clan, we will protect Emil ourselves. So don't worry, okay? We will be fodder for the swarm. <laughs> I will try hard and learn to heal as well as you, Mia. Oh, it'd be really nice and... Um, okay, I'll leave the village in your hands, Megan, Justin. <gasps> they actually have names! We can leave without any worries now. But, I don't know. Um, 
That'd be really nice to see if you could come back and they've actually grown up in uh, uh, Golden Sun Dark Dawn, because that takes like takes place um, long after the events of these this game and the next one. Do 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 Questing. <laughs> oh my god, oozes. Yeah, whatever. We could deal with you with eight hands tied behind our back. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of. Watch, watch, watch how easy this is now. Oh! Two hits. That's it. We only get 29 experience points. That's not even. Yeah, look, we're, we're looking at like 3,000 experience for a level up. That's not even worth our time. I might as well cast something like a void, which Isaac gets for having the Mercury Gym. And yeah, monsters won't attack so often right now. Acts kind of like Repel, except you can still be attacked, so. Oh my goodness, what is going on in these pots? Well, you see this fire. Now that we have Mia around, we can use different synergy. And I believe we need to give her... No. Is it this one? No, which one is it? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Put, her on, put him on standby. Put him on standby. Uh, character status. Alright. Yes, okay, it is, it is indeed the Mars Djinn that we need to trade to Mia, because now we can use not a Djinn, but Douse. And that'll put out fires, and then this pillar will refreeze, and then we can go around town, get up there. Did I go the wrong way? I have a feeling I did. Actually, I have a feeling that we can't get there yet. No, because there's something else we need in order to get there. That's right. So, in fact, giving Mia that that gin right now is pretty useless. Let's just give it back. I'm gonna look up uh, gin recipes for characters later on, but for now, for now, I'll just keep it where it is because. I'm pretty content with what each person learned, what each person knows, because we still have Garrett, or not Garrett, we still have Isaac and Mia as the two healers, and well, Garrett actually has um, synergy now, <laughs> which is the most important thing because he had crap synergy before. I have no idea how long I've been recording, so <laughs> I'll probably record a bit more. I don't know. Um, I'm actually going to stop in Billabim because I cannot remember if we actually... No, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, not yet. Yeah, we haven't actually saved Kolima yet, so we can't collect a reward for saving Kolima. However, now you will see why exactly I thought that you came to Kalima first. Because if you look over here... <gasps> oh my god! That tree orgy! It has fallen down! What is up with that? Let's check out what they have to say. They crossed the river after pushing us down! This is terrible! How could anyone do that? Who did? She'll be swept downstream if she isn't pulled to shore! Oh crap, let's save her! Can't let a tree die! Well, she's in water, I don't think she'll die. <laughs> oh my god, it's a, it's a tree moving on its own! It's unbelievable! Thank you, you saved me from being washed downstream! Oh, it looks like she's okay. <laughs> anyway, that's all that we gotta do here. I've never actually seen what happens if you don't pull her in because 
She don't. I get. I'm guessing she washes downstream if you don't. But I have no idea what happens after that because I know um, if you do save her, then you get a reward for it, and it's not that great, but it's still good to know that you. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Oh come on! I can't run from a rat and a rat man. But anyway, it feels good to save her in any case, so... I always do save her, even though she is a tree. Uh... By the way, guys, I want to apologize if I sound a little odd today, a little... weird, but I have been... I've been pretty... I've been drinking one of the first sugared sodas that I have had since before Christmas break of last year. Well, this school year, last year, year. Um, and I said I wouldn't, but it's vanilla Coke and I couldn't help myself. But no, because I've only been drinking unsugared sodas and other things that aren't soda, uh, the sugar's quite strong. <laughs> um, so, I feel... Like, I'm talking oddly, but I can't tell if I actually am. Besides, I'm kind of a little tired this week because I've been doing research for an archival project about Ireland in Frankenstein, so. And it's pretty cool. I, I'm not going to go into details because I'd be talking for about an, uh, about an hour just about Frankenstein and the Irish. But it, it's, pr it was, it's a pretty cool project. Let me just say that. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty cool par project, but I'm not going to tell you why it's cool. Just take me at my word. <laughs> You're going to have to, because I, I, I'm not going to spend an hour explaining it. I'm going to do that once in class. <laughs> uh, do we have to? Yeah, we got to do the puzzle. Urgh. And I do not have Mr. McDonough to rant about this time. That's okay. You're gonna see that just getting over to the top is easier than... Easier than square dancing with a cardboard box. <laughs> oh my god. All I can think of right now is uh, when... Squidward's trying to forget about Spongebob and Patrick with their cardboard box out in front of his house and flip the switch! Flip the switch. There we go. Jeez. Keep going around to the side of it. And then boxing comes on and it's two boxes in a boxing ring. He's like, oh, at least it's not about real boxes. And then that comes on he's like, I give up. <laughs> anyway, I think that constitutes an episode. If not, oh well. But I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu, and we'll... I guess we'll talk to her, but then we'll give Trent his medicine, and hopefully that'll save Colima. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.